Peters, author of In Search of Excellence, made a profound statement that I think is very relevant for enhancing our personal brands. He said that regardless of whether you are an employee, self-employed, consultant, all in business, you must always remember that you are the CEO of me incorporated. That is you incorporated. That means that you have 100% responsibility to work on building and enhancing your personal brand. Hi there, I'm Catherine Gaho from SBO Research. Thank you for tuning in to my channel, Elevators, where we offer elevating and empowering messages to help you grow in your life, career, or business. In this video, I will talk about the five C's for building your personal brand. All of us have the ultimate responsibility and duty to work on enhancing our personal brands. You are your own boss, at least when it comes to developing your personal brand. Now, let's go straight to the five C's of enhancing your personal brand. And do stay with me to the end so that you can get all the five C's. First C is for connections or contacts. A personal brand is based on perception and not facts. It's based on the opinions and beliefs that are formed about you. One thing you can do to gauge your personal brand image is to do a survey among your social circles, that is your friends, your connections and contacts, those who you hang around most of the time, including your family. The opinion they hold of you will tell you something about the image that you reflect. You can also step back and just look at them from a distance. Step away from your friends. Have you ever done this? It's an interesting exercise. You look at your group of friends, the people you hang with most of the time, and just step away and look at them from far. And what you see is what others see. That's how you are seen. You are seen to a large extent in a similar way to the people you hang around most of the time. The company you keep rubs on your brand image. So your connections serve as a mirror for your image. The influence how others see you, the influence how you think, the influence your beliefs, the influence your actions, the influence your outcomes, and the influence your image. And that is the impact on your personal brand by those you surround yourself with most of the time. We've all heard the stories of a young couple who met and had a very good time, had very good vibes about each other, and were progressing very well into the relationship until, just until, they met each other's friends and they started to see each other differently just by the reflection from the friends. The other day, I had a story along those lines. It was about this girl who got herself a really worthy boyfriend and was ready to commit. She actually was determined. She was already imagining and talking about how their children would look like and how her name will sound with his name at the end. And then he met her friends and that changed everything. He saw her in another light and started avoiding her, not answering her calls. He told his friends that her friends made him see her in another way and that he was no longer so particularly keen on her. This was surprising to many people, but really, if you understand this principle of personal branding, it will not be surprising. This was purely based on the mirror reflection. They did not have to do anything. You know, many times people say, oh, my friends told my boyfriend about me, or that your name was spoiled by your relationships were spoiled because other people said or did. While that may happen, the mere mirror image does a lot of talking. So you may not have to blame your friends for this. It can be all on you. You have to absolutely consider this element of connections when you are seeking to improve your personal brand. In a previous video, I talked about the importance of surrounding yourself with the right people. And you can watch that video later. I will put a link here below. The second C is for character. What character are you associated with? Your character is key to building a healthy, brand image. This works for personal, work and business relationships. There is a popular saying that your reputation precedes you. That is so relevant 
for building your personal brand. Basically meaning that the character that people associate you with determines their willingness to work with you, to hire you, to promote you, to recommend you to others, or to give you a positive reference, or even to give you a break. Even when things go wrong, people will consider what they know about you based on your past behavior, your character. So the third C is credible references. You need to work to build credible references. That is, people who can say something about you to positively sway or influence the opinion of significant others about you. As I said earlier, your personal brand is driven by perceptions, not facts. Your brand is held in the minds of others, your family, your colleagues, those you interact with most of the time. The impression you create with those who interact with you frequently becomes a key factor in building your brand image. Those who don't know you personally tend to rely on opinions of those who do. You have noticed that potential employers will always ask for references from your former employers or teachers or church leaders and colleagues. That is those who know you better. They want to hear what do those who know you better think about you. Even if you're in business, you will be asked to get references or testimonials from those who you served before, your previous clients. This is especially true if you provide services. People want to know, do you do what you promise? Why? Because people use the opinions of those who know you better to gauge your credibility, to assess you and determine that you are a credible person. And even in personal relationships, people try to find someone who you know in common so that they can get another opinion about you. Your brand has a lot to do with how others see you. The image that you have, the image that you present, that you project, how they rate you as a person in terms of values, behavior, and what is known generally about you and your unique abilities. Some people say that you should not care about what others think of you, but I beg to differ. I think it depends on who those people are. If they are the kind of people who will be writing for you a character reference or a reference for work, then you have to think twice. Then it matters what they think. In these days, actually, think about it. Even when you are in trouble, when you need to raise funds for something, a business or something, people first ask, you know, look at you. And your brand image will determine whether they are willing to participate, to contribute, and to facilitate you. Even in terms of networking and connections, people ask, who is this person? Is this my relative, a very serious person? Can I introduce them to my very important network? This works even in a court of law. You have heard in a court of law, they talk about character references. Lawyers will always talk about character references and judges are willing to listen to a character reference. And what we normally see in these cases, or as we have seen maybe in movies like Prison Break, you see the power of personal references. While well, the character reference is poor, then the lawyer said, would rather not allow that person to speak because they are going to be discredited. And in some cases we have seen this, where a person gives a reference and people say, but who is that who's talking? And the reference loses weight. So the fourth C is competence. How do you demonstrate your competence and capability? This is key to enhancing your personal brand. People want to hire and promote and follow and even vote for people who are competent at what they do. Your expertise or ability is key to building your brand. People consider your ability and your capacity in order to determine if they can trust you with a certain assignment, role, or position. The decision makers will assess your competence based on certain facts and evidence. So the idea is for you to learn how to package and document your evidence and your facts about your competence. You need to be able to always validate your competence, validate your capability by ensuring that your competence or know-how is effectively documented and exhibited. It should also be supported by your actions. You know how they say that your actions speak so loud, I can't hear what you're saying? Yes, so make sure your actions are consistent with what you say you can do. If you say you're good at something, act it, deliver it to the standard. The fifth 
C of personal branding is consistency. Consistency is absolutely important in building a strong personal brand. You become what you do. People see you as what you consistently do. In the minds of others, you become what you do consistently, repeatedly, over time. Not what you claim to value, not what you say you want to do. What you do, time after time. You cannot build a great brand image without consistency. To develop a good brand image online, you need to be consistent in presentation, your posting habits, messaging, themes, as well as a voice tone. Consistency builds reliability, which is a key tenet of brand image. So consistency creates accountability and dependability. If you say that you are professional, then you are expected to look like one, to act like one, to be like one. That is your outward expression should deliver a consistent feel of professionalism. I once read a book that suggested that our careers can be classified into four categories and described how each of the four categories should look in order to be consistent with the profession that they are in. And the four categories were, one was conservative, where it said that if you are in a conservative industry like banking, finance, investments and the like, that you needed to look a way that it was more conservative. If you are in the contemporary industry like media, marketing, sales and the like, then you needed to look a certain way. If you are in bridge, bridge industries were those which combine field work, like, you know, where you have to jump a trench and still go back to the office and give advice, take notes, like careers for engineers and architects. And then the fourth was fashion forward for those in the fashion and beauty industry. You, of course, don't expect somebody in the fashion or beauty industry to be showing you how Things are moving forward, but then they are looking like they belong to the, the previous generation. So the advice given in that book was that to improve your brand image, your professional presence should match your position, should match your industry, should be consistent with what you say you are, what you say you do. That is your dress code should be consistent with your profession or what you do. Imagine getting a haircut from someone who looks like an engineer or like a nun. How would you feel? What would you expect of a haircut done by a nun? So think about that. If you don't look the part, somehow it takes away something from your brand image. Whether you are looking for a break in your career, looking for a job or a promotion, or starting a business, or you are seeking new customers, or seeking an opportunity to serve in your community, or you want to stand for a position like MCA or MP or representative for your people, these five C's will help you build your brand image. Now, I've given you the five C's to improve your personal brand, and I assure you that if you work on these five C's, you will see great improvement in your life, career, or business. That's why I created this video for you. As per the promise of this channel, Elevators, and I trust that this information has empowered and inspired you to work on your personal brand. To sum it up, the five C's of enhancing your personal brand are one, connections, or contact, that means relationships. Second is character. Third is credible references. The fourth is competence. And the fifth is consistency. Consistency, consistency. That is one of the single most powerful rules of personal branding, consistency. Don't forget that. So do like this video and share it with a friend who you think might benefit from it. Thank you and best wishes as you go ahead to enhance your personal brand. We all need to elevate our mindsets at this time. <music>